Shashank and I started dating in 2017, and we got serious pretty quick. By that, I mean we got married in the first six months of knowing each other. We traveled so much, we explored so much, we've grown so much together that our bond has only gotten stronger. When we got pregnant for the first time, we were pretty clueless about what we should be doing. Honestly, it was pretty overwhelming, so much so that when I missed my period for about the first six days, I was so scared that I didn't even pick up the pregnancy test myself. I had Shashank go to the uh, medical store and pick up a few tests and I just wanted to be extra sure. So I made him pick up five tests <laughs> and come back home that uh, evening and we read on the test that it was not a 24 hour test. It was something that we had to do early in the morning, first thing in the morning. And uh, the next day we woke up, the family and us, we were all supposed to leave to Tirupati. Uh, we annually do that every year in December. We were supposed to leave for Tirupati and of course we had not told anybody about it. It was around 7, 7, 7.30 when we actually opened the test and uh, and it, it came positive. <laughs> I can still um, picture myself and Shashank then. We just looked at each other in absolute shock because it was unplanned we didn't know if uh, it was the right time i just signed on a movie for uh, uh, for french biryani and it was it, i think i was i had this big cloud of doubt over my head if i can do this if it was, if it was the right time to do this should we go ahead with the pregnancy there were a million thoughts, but uh, then again, we had to rush to Tirupati and my parents and my in-laws thought I had a big fight with Shashank and that's why I was very quiet throughout the trip of uh, three-day trip. But uh, it was not that. I was just going back to the room after every day and I was just sitting there trying to think if, if you know, if our next, next step should be to go ahead with the pregnancy or we should not. Of course, you know, these are thoughts when it's an unplanned pregnancy, these thoughts are very natural to come to your head. And uh, that's kind of where we were. Uh, the very first scan, the very first visual that I had of a baby in my stomach was of a dot. And I didn't feel much. I, I, I was just trying to wrap my head around what the dot could be. Is that the actual baby? Is that how it starts? Um, and after the dot, after about five minutes, the doctor did his uh, entire scan. And after about five minutes, Shashank and I are just sitting there and there was this sound that we heard that we weren't sure of as to what it was. I was about five and a half weeks pregnant at that point in time. And uh, that's when the doctor said, uh, here's your baby's heartbeat. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to react to something like that. I didn't know I was actually making a baby inside of me. At that point of time, I think reality just hit me. And I was like, how did I ever think of not going ahead with the pregnancy? Because until that point, it's always about just the feeling of being pregnant and not being ready. But when, when I think I heard the heartbeat was when it just hit me that I think I was. this was just meant to be, this was just supposed to happen and the timing couldn't have been better. We'll just figure everything out later. At the scan, we heard the heartbeat for the first time. <laughs> that is when we decided that, no, I think, and that too, the doctor also told, he kind of told about that um, generally heartbeat starts at some six weeks or something like that. And then this was, a, I think we went, what, at five, fifth week? Yeah, five, five and a half weeks. Five and a half weeks and heartbeat is already there. Obviously, so then we had to keep it kind of, so we completely changed our minds then. So I was super scared, obviously, who wouldn't be? How am I going to shoot during this? And if the director even wants to go ahead with me and, you know, keep me in his cast, I wasn't sure. So he told me these uh, very inspirational ah, lines. that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should no, it. no, I was actually, I, I told her about that um, Gal Gadot. Yeah. Gal Gadot. Huh. Gal Gadot, when she was shooting the movie for uh, which movie? What is Superwoman. that? Superwoman. Superwoman? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, no, Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman, yeah. Wonder Woman. So when she was shooting the Wonder Woman, yeah. she was pregnant apparently, and that was why the movie was a big success and things like that. So we had just signed then. What was the first feeling like that you got after the delivery? 
when hmm. we when we were got to the room and the first time like you held the baby when you held Vian what what did you feel like what was running through your mind and stuff i think for the first 3 days it was unreal yeah. we, we didn't have anything absolutely nothing it is not it was it was like as if i'm trying to hold somebody's child it was like that to be very honest but somebody's child yeah but <laughs> it was it was ours but it's so unreal because we were not ready for it at that moment and it was still like it did not sunk in that it is happening around us you know the kid is ours and we have a kid from no one i don't because there are a lot of things which we had planned but then this was an unplanned uh, thing but actually it was a brilliant post now looking back at it i feel i think everything happened for for good how do you feel now that we have baby number 2 on the way and it was all planned and it wasn't a surprise and you can't be like oh shit what happened so it's not going to be like that how do you feel with the second baby now what's the feeling for the arrival no i think this the credit goes to you for this baby number 2 being planned <laughs> always credit goes to me because i used to always pester him yeah. he always wanted to give he, he wanted a second baby but i think he always wanted to give it an a longer time mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right yeah <clears throat> i've come to terms with it now that we are having baby number 2 because uh, the idea was initially again was like oh it was something like <sighs> it is tough to kind of take in but then i came to terms because uh, she kind of told that once we are done with this kind of phase then it's very nice to have um, you know life as what we want it so we see when we kind of got together we had a certain way to live and do things and so i think having this phase of life quick we'll be able to enjoy much more later that's what you told me right i think yeah yeah that that'll be better i know you might yeah. be able to put this it in a better way a personal choice for mm. us that we felt like you know since we had the first one already we mm. thought we might as well just club the second baby as well really quick so that we can travel a lot and you know not have another break later and you know uh, all of that we told our parents about a week after our ultrasound and they were beyond excited the first few months of my pregnancy was a breeze it was honestly nothing less than a breeze I did not even know I was pregnant. It was such a fantastic experience. I think also the fact that the parents were so excited about it and everybody was just so happy for uh, a baby in the family that I never felt anything. I had no morning sickness. I didn't have food aversions. None of it. It was it was beautiful. I think I cherish that part of the pregnancy the most. and um, slowly when we started our scans at around 7th yeah at around the 7th month is when we started noticing a small very very small complication which was that i was low on uh, water my water was dropping every week and uh, we had to keep that steady so i was put on a different sort of a medication i was to drink something uh, three times a day which did get a little hard at that point of time also because i had to pee so often <laughs> the experience got a little out of hand in my 7th and 8th month but it was nothing that we couldn't control luckily and uh, we somehow managed to uh, sail through with the water being sort of just about enough when i was 36 weeks pregnant uh, when we ran the scan with my gynecologist she suggested that we induce labor because it was just better for the baby the baby was already developed completely so it was uh, good for him to come out at any point of time so we decided to induce labor and uh, we just fixed a date that was good enough and uh, we went ahead with the induction at about 6:30 a.m. yeah we started around 6 6:30 a.m. and i think <laughs> the inducing for about 6 hours there was very 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 little pain i wouldn't even call it pain it was just uneasiness it felt like i'd eaten something that i that was just not sitting well in the tummy if you know what i mean that's how it was it was for the first 5 hours or 6 hours and after that uh, my gynecologist gave me the second dose of induction and that's when stuff got really really serious and the pain was intense 
I could feel the contractions coming in every few minutes and uh, although I had no patience in me to time it <laughs> I don't even know if it was regular or not but oh my god that pain was just crazy it was like a like a cramp like a period cramp into 10 times maybe or 20 times but then again I just knew it was the baby and I, I feel like that feeling doesn't really hit you the pain doesn't really make you go like oh my god I'm so scared I don't want to do this again it did, it never gave me that feeling because by the end of the day I knew I was bringing a baby out and it just felt so fulfilling I, I felt whole when I was going through the pain which might sound a little weird but yeah <laughs> that's pretty much how I felt and um Unfortunately, at around 4, 4.30 is when my doctor came in to do a, a physical examination of how, how much I had dilated to see if the baby was ready to come out. And when she did that, I could feel it too. And um, what she said made a lot of sense to me. I developed a condition called kaput. Kaput is something like where I was swelling up because of which the baby's head could practically not come out through a normal delivery because I was swelling up and because of which the baby started going under stress. So we had uh, his vitals monitored as well. His heartbeat was constantly being monitored from when the induction took place. So his heartbeat was dropping to an 80 to a, and it was suddenly shooting up to a 170, 180. So we instantly knew that the baby was under stress and we could not do that any longer. We couldn't... Um, push for a normal delivery anymore from there. So we decided to roll me in for a emergency C-section. And uh, when, when she told me that, you know, I'm extremely sorry, but we will have to do a C-section because of the condition that you've developed just in about an hour or so, it, uh, I don't know how to <laughs> say this, but I think it kind of shook me because um, Everyone has a birth plan, right? Everyone goes with an idea of how a birth plan should be, how you'd expect your baby to come out of you. And um, of course, we tried for a normal delivery. We went in thinking we might have a normal delivery. But that, that little alter that from normal, it just shifted to C-section in an hour, definitely shook me. I was pretty shocked. I didn't know <laughs> that I'd just be going into a c-section and be cut up but then again it was a very short moment that i felt like felt like that maybe about three minutes and immediately after that i was like this why am i feeling this way because by the end of the day i just want my baby out safe and sound i want to be safe and sound i just want to make sure that both of us don't get into complications and you know see him in the nicu as soon as he's out that would break my heart so we just had to do take a decision that was best for the baby as well as me and i just went ahead with my doctor's decision and i said i'm not going to push it anymore if you think it's dangerous let's just go for the c-section and in we went it was about four o'clock when i went into the ot and at 4.15, I was out. <laughs> the baby was out. Shashank was in too. The baby was out in literally five minutes. They, they wrapped him up, got him super close to my face. He was warm. It was a room full of AC and my baby was the warmest thing in the room. When he came to the room, it felt like a hot plate or something <laughs> had come and just, you know, kept it next to my face. I felt so warm. And that skin-to-skin -skin feeling was something out of this world that I've never felt before. It was just, it was, it was super warm. And uh, yeah, I mean, Shashank as well. <laughs> he was just looking at my face and he was just like, you did it, babe. You did it. Oh my God, you did it. <laughs> Even if it was not the push, push, it was still, you did it. <laughs> so it was, it was pretty intense. I think that's the most intense thing, of course, that Shashank and I have ever faced. And um, it was it was beautiful. And after that, I was immediately rolled into another room where uh, my baby and I got to, you know, spend a little time. We were trying to get him to latch on and the feeding was happening and all of that. So that hour was really special. It was just, he was just out. The baby was just a few minutes old and I could hold him and I could feed him. and. I think that feeling is just extraordinary. It's out of this world. Yeah.
Our second pregnancy was planned and Shashank and I were super happy when our home test showed a positive. But due to COVID protocols, Shashank wasn't allowed into the room and that made me very nervous about my first scan. My second pregnancy has been pretty mad compared to my first one. Uh, it's been four and a half months now. I'm on the way to my second trimester scan and I've had morning sickness for almost four months. It's only been a week since the cravings have started, but the first four months was crazy. I don't think there was a day when I didn't throw up in the first few weeks and then it started to happen once a week. It was, it was really bad, it kind of sucked the energy out of me. But uh, yeah, I'm doing much better now and I feel like I have some energy in me. I can uh, do a lot of lot of things i can actually get up get dressed and go out now but the first three months were crazy i was pretty much on bed most of the time i did take a lot of medication for nausea as well but unfortunately they didn't work for me um i still threw up even if i took the medication i think they just helped me in sort of having the food settled but not all the time i used to throw up nonetheless and um, in terms of uh fatigue and headaches and all of that I think it was okay it was not really bad where I couldn't really move out of the house or anything but no matter what I ate I always felt very unsettled and I always felt like I wanted to throw it up so yeah it was quite challenging the first three months the reports you want to see? Yeah, how is it? Oh god, it's great. So you can see uh, like the me, me, whole, me, whole baby. Mimi? Yeah. Me, me, look, look. Mimi. Yeah, look at the baby. Come here. Oh, wow. Oh, Mimi. You can see, that's the face. Yeah. He's got all the fingers. Look at the fingers here. Fully covering. Wow. Mian, see the baby. Did you see? The I baby? See the baby here. Wait, wait, wait. Sit here. See sit the baby? Here. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Did you give a kissy to the baby? Kissy? Oh. <laughs> finished my checkup with my gynecologist and uh, everything is great the baby is doing fine the baby and the movements it's so much more nicer now because they showed us the 3d scan with uh, Vian I only got to see it when he was about seven months and now with my second pregnancy I got to see it at just four and a half months which was pretty exciting for me super happy because I could see the baby's hands just go all over the face and behind the head and the baby was very very active Vian was kind of sleepy I was told to go back walk a little drink a little water wake up the baby and then come for the scan but uh, this baby seems to be super active already which makes me really really happy and uh, with my gynecologist as well everything went great I just have to continue the same medication there are no complications as such that I had to face in my first pregnancy but again and it's too soon to tell. I think I'll know better when it's about seven, seven months and when we're close to the date of delivery. But all good for now. I'm super happy. I can't wait to call my parents and give them the news because they've been calling me since this morning for an update and how the baby is doing. So yeah, I'm just waiting to do that. May it be the first pregnancy or now the second, my biggest pillar of strength and support has always been Shashank. Apart from being a great husband, he's also been the best dad and although he's not very expressive about his feelings, deep down I know how nervous and excited he is to be a hands-on dad all over again. We can't wait for the baby to be here. <laughs>